So that was a bit of a shocker. Something Jacksonville resident Justine Sandy says she wouldn't expect to see outside of her window. And there's all these cops out there and um, they had AR-15s, they had all the tactical suits on. And I was like, oh my goodness, there's some crazy person running around out there. But that didn't end up being the case. It was a phony phone call to 911, the second time it has happened within 26 hours. We have to react to any call that we get as if it's a real emergency, because ultimately until responders get out on scene and verify whether there's a true emergency or not, we have to handle it the same way. Being able to verify true emergencies requires resources. Well, anytime that we're going to send you know, resources out to investigate something, it takes uh, our patrol time away from other duties that we could be doing or responding to other calls for service. We have to prioritize calls for service. The first prank call to 911 on Tuesday was about a burglary in process at the Valley View Winery. Just more than a day later, a shooting situation in a Jacksonville neighborhood. These kinds of calls are referred to as swatting. And they make up some sort of a complaint or some sort of a incident that has obviously will get the attention of the police. It's something Emergency Communications of Southern Oregon or ECSO doesn't usually deal with. We do know about the, uh, you know, the swatting events. We do hear about them that have occurred nationally. And, you know, of course, we look at those and and, uh, you know, you're kind of glad that they don't happen locally. But here we are, you know, last 26 hours. We have seen a couple of these events covering your news. Justin Matthews, News 10.